to the fertility clinic to do our eight-week ultrasound so I'm feeling a little bit nervous for some reason but also excited so to see them and to see them be more developed at this point and maybe even moving I don't know um, I know my app on my phone says that they should have like little arms and like buds for arms I guess and then legs so anyway it'll be interesting to see what they look like now and also it'll be interesting I'm not sure if we're going to be able to see this at this ultrasound but for the ones that split the identical ones we might be able to understand more of the placenta situation um, if they're going to share a placenta, if they each have their own placenta, because if they share a placenta, there could be more complications with that twin transference or something like that, where one twin could get, you know, more of the nutrients and all of that, and the other doesn't get as much. So it just can increase some complications if they share a placenta. So we might be able to see that today. I don't know. But... I will get on and let you guys know what it's like when we're done and show you pictures. I'm sure they'll give me pictures. So yeah, I will let you know how it goes when, when we're done. And actually we also will graduate from the fertility clinic today. So this will be our last appointment there and then we'll move on to a high risk um, OB. So anyway, I will see you guys in a little while. Bye. Hey everyone, so it's later in the day, and but I did wanna give you an update about how our scan went, our ultrasound, and everything looks really good. So we were really thankful for that. They all look, you know, like they're the right size. We got to see the heartbeats in each one of them. We didn't get to hear the heartbeats because they, they didn't do the little Doppler thing, but you can see it very clearly on the ultrasound. And they've grown so much, uh, it's crazy to think that just two weeks ago, when we had our first scan, they were all around three millimeters. And now they're like 17 millimeters, 18 millimeters, and 20 millimeters. So they've grown so much. Um, so that was just really cool to see. You couldn't see too clearly like arm buds or leg buds. It was kind of blurry there's you know a little bit that you can kind of make out but it was it was really good and the doctor said something really encouraging she said that the identicals the gestational sac that they're in is really oblong shape I want to show you guys so it's just really so here's the fraternal one and here's the identicals and one is in one corner and the other one is in the other corner. And so she said that was really good that they were in not very close together so that they will likely have like a membrane separating them. And so I asked her, I was like, does that mean that they'll each have their own placenta? And she said, the, yeah, likely they will each have their own placenta because they're so far apart and they each have their own yolk sac. But we can't see that clearly yet, so I'm you know, not getting my hopes up too much, but it is definitely encouraging. And she was saying, this is what they like to see with identicals. So I was very encouraged with that. And I know later scans when we're able to see the placentas more, that'll give us a more clear indication of, you know, if they each have their own placenta. So yeah, it was just wonderful. And um, it, I'm just thankful. The doctor that was with us today, she is, I kind of, just whoever the doctor is that's there, I see. And she was super sweet and super encouraging. So that was really helpful because I think at the first scan, the doctor I saw, he, not that he, I don't know, he was just a little bit more, not so positive or encouraging. And I know it's, it's a difficult thing, you know, having 
triplets, but it just, I don't know, I just felt more positivity and encouragement from her. So I appreciated that. And I also got to record a little bit. Actually, my sister recorded a little bit. So I will include that in this video, that footage. So this is like the first time I've been able to record anything when I've had a scan done, because they've always just been like, no, no, no. But I actually didn't even ask. My nurse just said, you can record if you would like, just don't get our faces in it. And so I was like, whoa, that's amazing. So my sister got to record. So you'll be able to see what they look like at this stage. We're eight weeks and one day and see their little heartbeats. It's really fuzzy and hard to see, but there's definitely stuff going on in there. So uh, anyway, I was thankful for that. And we did graduate. So we got three little hats. So they typically don't hand out three, but you know, we've got three in there. So we got three little baby hats to celebrate our graduation from the fertility clinic. And next week I actually have an appointment with a regular OB and then we'll probably move quickly on to high risk doctor. So yeah, that's where we're at. And I will make sure to include that clip at the end of the recording of the ultrasound. So bye. How does that work when they share a sack? So they, when they split, there's different ways that they can cause a pregnancy. One situation is they're like in the same sack where they actually can touch each other. That's called monozygotic. That mm -hmm. uh, mono organic like mono mono twins, basically what it's called. And that is not the situation for these two. These two each have their own individual yolk sacs, okay. so they are going to have a membrane in between them, most oh, likely. That's good. That's a good thing. Yes. yes. Yeah. So they'll have, they have their own like placenta. Yes, with the yolk sacs oh. usually they do. Okay. Um, so they're called monodi twins. Okay. Monodi. Okay.